Hello, my most amazing artists. Today we're going to be finishing our Chilean arpilleras. You're going to use some interesting supplies like this template, a hole puncher. Be sure that your houses, you've drawn details like windows, doors, be sure they're glued in. And then once you punch your holes using the template, you are going to pick a skein of yarn. So that's one of these balls of yarn. And you are going to measure your yarn to your paper. And then I'm going to teach you how to whip stitch all the way around the edge. So let's get started. Okay, so to get started, you need to punch your holes in your paper. So I've made a template for you and you are going to line it up really neatly and then just punch all the holes. Now, if you don't have your paper lined up, your holes may go off the page and stuff like that. So you need to be sure that you have the edges lined up. And then on your hole puncher, it has this little guard right here and your paper needs to go under that. Don't have your paper go above that. Your paper should slide under that in the very bottom most part, okay? All right, so let me line my paper up. If my paper gets to where it's not lined up, rework it, be sure it's lined up. So now you're just going to punch all of your holes. Once you get the hole puncher on the paper the correct way, it is easy to just slide it from hole to hole. When you get down to where you have your paper collaged, sometimes it gets more difficult to punch the hole because you're punching through two or three pieces of paper. So stick with it and just try your best. If you need help, let me know. If it gets too hard, take the template off and see what is causing you to not be able to punch through. There's a piece of puff paint right here, which was making it very difficult for me to push the hole puncher through the paper. Okay, I've punched all of my holes. I actually had to peel off that piece of puff paint that was on the edge because I could not get my hole to punch through it. So if you have puff paint on the edge that is in your way and you can't get the hole puncher to punch it out, then just go ahead and peel it off. Now, this opens and you need to get all of that out before you give the next person the hole puncher. Y'all will be sharing these. I only have 10 of these. So you will have a partner and you'll have to get yours punched and then share with the next person. These right here should go in the garbage. So just swipe them off the table into the garbage can. Okay, now I'm gonna teach you how to whip stitch. So the first thing you have to do is measure your yarn. And we want six lengths of the paper, okay? So the yarn is in this basket a special way. There's a part of it coming out. You need to keep the yarn in here in the basket and just pull this string. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, see, I am gonna put this in the bottom so it makes it easier. Okay, so I'm gonna pull it here, that's one length, okay? Then I'm gonna take the end and pull and hold, that's two, same thing. Three, four, five, Six, and when I get that pulled out, I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna make sure that this is pulled out for the next person, and then I'm done with my cutting my yarn, and I can go sit anywhere and whip stitch this. Okay, so to whip stitch, it's very, very simple. We are gonna start somewhere. Oh, look, this one didn't get punched out all the way. All right, so we're gonna start and we're gonna go in through the back of the hole. I like to start at one of the corners and you're gonna pull almost all of your yarn out, but leave out about six or eight inches, okay? All right. And then all you do to whip stitch is you go in from the back, you pull the yarn out through the front and then you do the same thing. So we're gonna go around the edge, in through the back, and pull the yarn out to the front. And then I'm gonna kind of pull that tight, but hold that yarn so it doesn't come all the way out. So I'm gonna go around the edge, 
through the back of the hole, pull the yarn out of the front of the hole. Okay, and I'm just gonna kind of keep it tight. So I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna speed this up, but remember you just go in around the edge, through the back, out the front, around the edge, through the back, out the front. And what I like to do, instead of trying to push this end through the hole, it will get frayed and hard to push through. I like to just kind of hold it here and just pull that through. Just makes it easier. I'm whip stitching at warp speed, but please be watching. You go in through the back, pull the yarn out through the front, go around the edge. That's all you have to do. Okay, when you get done, you're gonna flip it over to the back. You can really see the whip stitch. And you are just going to tie the two pieces of yarn together. So you wanna be careful not to tie your paper too tight, but just tie it loosely, double knot it. So I tied it once. Now I'm gonna tie it again to double knot it. And then I am going to cut off my extra string. And there you have it. I am done. Now, if I wanted to puff paint my houses or anything else, I would do that now, right before I put it on the drying rack. I wanna get y'all's pictures with these. So when you get finished, come see me and let me take your picture. All right, have fun.